Ciao. We have landed in the Rome airport. We are about 25 minutes late. We've got to grab our bags and meet our Adventures by Disney tour guides for our very first ABD in Italy ever. I'm excited. That was crazy. <laughs> Passport control took over an hour. There were hundreds of people in line and two passport people stamping passports. We found it. We finally got through passport control, uh, met up with our driver, and he's loading our bags right now and we're heading off to the hotel. situation and all of that but we are here we have about 35 minutes before we're supposed to meet our group out front where we get to meet everybody and we're gonna start exploring Rome so we're going to the Pantheon today so you have to because it's a church you have to have, um, have covered shoulders and covered knees um, I think we're all just like wanting to freshen up for a quick minute um, maybe change our shirts and whatnot but we are ready to get this party started this room is awesome we have adjoining rooms there are twin beds on this side and a king bed on our side uh, beautiful bathroom um, I'm loving like this is so cool like you can actually see all the way into the bathroom from the it's just kind of neat anyway um, I'm really excited to be here. We just got our welcome briefing, which is basically what it is. <laughs> um, so when we first got to the hotel, we came into the restaurant here and we um, met our two tour guides. You get two tour guides for Every Adventures by Disney, English speaking one, and then a local one from the country that you're visiting. And then we also have a third tour guide joining us at either all or some of the local spots, but for sure in Rome. There's 39 people in this group. We kind of introduced ourselves, Leslie took care of that, and then we got the briefing. We got these little boxes, so we're gonna carry these around with us so we can hear our tour guides describe what we're seeing. This afternoon is gonna be a little bit slow. Um, it was travel day, so at 3.30 we're gonna go out and we are going to tour some things. Um, I think everything today is just kind of like a walk-up thing, like yeah. Spanish Steps, uh, Trevi Fountain, that kind of thing. Pantheon. Uh, Pantheon, and then um, we're gonna come back here to the Grand Melia. Grand Melia. Melia yeah. Hotel, and then have dinner and drinks here, and then it's gonna be a little bit of an early night because tomorrow morning, it's the Vatican. <laughs> we have a private tour of the Vatican. Let's do this. We have come to the Spanish steps. There's a lot of them. I lost count. We were supposed to be counting and I lost count. Yeah, I can't, uh, no, I can't count I'm like count listening to her in my ear, <laughs> trying to count, trying to talk to you. I lost count. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit of a whirlwind tour. She is going 90 miles an hour in our ear right here, but we just left the Spanish steps, which were super cool. And now I think we're headed to the Trevi Fountain. Yes, there is a fountain built somewhere around, I think, the 1600s, and then the steps were around 1720, I think, is what she said. Um, but the fountain was to kind of help the flooding, so it's like set lower, uh, so oh, that I didn't hear that part. it That's would cool. like help combat the flooding with the rain and the weather. We give you one coin each, and we go do, we do this 
beautiful thing that is tradition prescribed. And then that's a surprise, a gelato car. Okay, so we are going to the fountain. You have to throw a coin in a specific way and make a wish. And then we got gelato carts, so we're gonna go get some gelato. I'm back to Rome. So we're gonna go up here now. So we're getting all the gelato. Aiden got pistachio. Jenny's got, I don't even know. All right, so this one is coconut and tiramisu. Oh my God. Dang, that's good. This is very good. I got cheesecake and something that I am unable to pronounce. Very good. Lemon and lemon cello. Mmm. Holy cow, that's amazing. I'm not sure which one is which. Lemon and limoncello, they both taste lemony, but they are fantastic. Holy cow. That's amazing. We came to the Pantheon. Uh, basically, it breaks down to meaning uh, all gods, pantheists. Um, and we can't go in today because they're having mass. But it's really cool because it like it looks like it's rectangular, but it's actually like once you get in there and from the side, you can tell that it's a, like a sphere inside, like it's a circle. So I don't know. It's just man, all of these old incredible architecture. It's incredible. All right, if you are looking to plan your next magical adventure, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We can help with Disney destinations, including adventures by Disney, Universal, Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. That was incredible. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, it was only like two and a half hours, but the <laughs> amount of stuff that we got to do in two and a half hours, like I could have never done that coming to Rome for the first time. That was insane. Um, and our little narrator girl, she's like so energetic and so fun and so cute, and I just want to put her in my pocket. She's adorable. We got back at 6.15. We have drinks that are being served pre-dinner at 6.30, and then dinner's at 7. Um, it's, I don't know, like right up the steps and around the corner outside in this little glass um, restaurant thing. I haven't been in it yet, but I'm gonna try to get some video of this. I'm really curious to see what type of food and drinks they are serving tonight, so I really wanna check that out. Um, and then uh, we're probably gonna crash pretty early tonight because we gotta be up and out of this joint at 6.15 a.m. because we are doing the pre-opening Vatican private tour I'm I say, I say, so I say the. It's not a. It's not a thing. It's like it's, they do it for Disney. We are in Gala, the name of this restaurant that's encased in mainly glass. They have um, the whole thing set up for us, I believe. I think this is where they probably do private events on, on the regular. Um, so they have soft drinks for kiddos or anyone that doesn't um, and enjoy adult beverages. They also have uh, red wine, white wine, and sparkling wine up there. Um, it's, uh, you know, I'm sure it's not the best wine in the world, but it's, it's tasty. I have no idea what we're gonna eat, but man, I'm ready. I am so hungry. Like, whenever I say that we legit have not had a meal since 6 a.m. this morning, I'm serious. It's been snacks. Benvenuto. Sorry, what does that mean? Benvenuto means welcome. Welcome. Oh. So welcome to Italy. So we get specialized custom pens all throughout the tour, and this is our first one. I'm so excited about this. this is like, I'm very much looking forward to these. One of the things that's really fun to do is to actually send back a postmark, or a postcard with the postmark and a stamp from Vatican City. It's something they have to be mailed in order to get the postmark out of the Vatican. It's also really fun to find out who will, what will happen first. Will the postcard arrive before Christmas or not? <laughs> so we got our spread of food, we got more wine, uh, we got our pens, we got postcards that we can send from the Vatican tomorrow. This is a great night. So the food looks fantastic. There is fresh mozzarella, there is um, like meats, there are two different kinds of pasta. There is, um, I, I did try the Alfredo pasta, which is very good. Um, steak, fish, veggies, all kinds of stuff. Salad, I'm diving in. Food was mostly very good. The uh, fresh mozzarella was 
Oh, delicious. Super good. The steak was really, really excellent. The pastas Potatoes. were pastas were good. I'm hoping we get better in like authentic Italia I think tomorrow. I um, chicken, not so much. The desserts, they have a uh, like a really dense chocolate cake, like a brownie, and a tiramisu. I like the tiramisu personally. Yeah, the tiramisu is great, and they have a lot of fresh fruit too, so that was really nice. It is 7:55, <laughs> and if I am not asleep in an hour, I've done something wrong. <laughs> good morning. We are just back from breakfast number one. That's right. So, early morning today, we got up at 5 a.m. We did end up going to bed last night, a little after 9, like 9.30, close to 10. Uh, so we got a nice full seven hours of sleep, which is lovely. just, compared to the last couple of nights, very, very good. Uh, breakfast number one was continental style. It was in the hotel bar. A nice little spread, fruit, pastries, meats, cheeses. Um, but we didn't want to fill up too much. The pastries were excellent, actually. Um, much better than you would expect from just like a continental style breakfast in America. And the um, coffee was good too. The coffee was great. So we're gonna get in the Vatican. We leave here at 6.15. We're gonna do a private tour of the Vatican. And then at some point they have a breakfast number two, like apparently like a bigger, bigger more heartier breakfast set up in the Vatican somewhere, if you can believe that. And then um, when we leave, the Vatican will be open. So we'll get to see like what it looks like just us inside and what it looks like with the millions of people inside, not millions, but a ton of people inside. I'm not sure how much we'll actually be able to video in there because I, I don't think much. If I can, I will. If not, we'll describe it afterwards, but I'm looking forward to this one. Cannot wait. All right, let's go. We just bypass the entire line. It opens in an hour and 20 minutes to the general There's already public. a line. Yeah, huge line. Um, and like literally they just, opened the doors. I just open these doors here and then uh, these over here. This is awesome. Okay, so we just came up here uh, to this little terrace and um, St. Peter's Basilical Dome is off in the distance. The city itself does not build anything higher than the dome, uh, which is why it kind of towers among everything. So cool. This is crazy. So we are alone in the Vatican Museum. Apparently they did a study and if you stopped in front of every piece of the 750,000 pieces of art in this museum, 18 seconds. for 20 seconds, it would take you 18 days to see everything. Still cleaning. They haven't opened yet. No big deal. The most famous painting by Raphael. This is amazing. It is time to go to the Sistine Chapel. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I don't think we can take pictures or video. No, there, we can't. So we'll catch you after. Seeing the Sistine Chapel with the lights on, which they turned off while we were in there. Which was so cool to see the difference too. I mean, no one was in there. You could actually see the floor. We were allowed um, to talk. You're usually not allowed to talk. <laughs> he, like, he, he explained like so many sections of, it was fascinating. Like just the, the difference of like Michelangelo's like technique from starting at the back to the front and the perspective and just. So All right, so we're getting ready to have breakfast. Oh my gosh. I'm like so overwhelmed with gratitude right now. Like just getting to see all of that and especially in the setting that we saw it in was absolutely a once in a lifetime experience. Like so cool. Um, we learned so much about the paintings of Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapel. Um, everything was just, I'm just so overwhelmed. I took so many pictures. <laughs> that was a very cool tour. Like all the different ancient Rome stuff, all the all the statues, they were so cool. Like especially the like big ones. 
and also the church. The paintings on the ceilings were like amazing. We are at breakfast. Uh, they just they're kind of it's like a buffet or a buffet as Simone said. Um, breakfast. They brought us some pastries. It looks like we have some eggs and potatoes and some meat and cheese and bacon. And then we ordered uh, cappuccinos and you could get juice. Um, I'm just so like I'm still like this is amazing. They opened. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Quite the difference this time. We are about to go in St. Peter's Basilica. This is... This is crazy. Gorgeous. Apparently the square out here can hold 350,000 people. The largest church in the world. Wow. So next year, as it always, will be the Jubilee. Actually, they will open that door the 24th of December, this year. So in a few months, actually, they're going to open the door. They want, they're going to keep it open until the 23rd of December of 2025. 365 days in order to let pilgrims enter the church through the Holy Door. This thing is massive. St. Peter's Basilica is amazing. He was just telling us that all of these in here, the reason we can take photos in here even though it looks like paintings, they're not actually paintings. If you look at it closely, everything that looks like a painting is a very teeny tiny like mosaic. And so they, they uh, the paintings were getting ruined. And so back in like 1700, they redid them all with the mosaics. Incredible. All right, we are sending postcards from the Vatican. We'll see when they arrive. That so is cool. the tour for this morning. Um, we are done with St. Peter's Basilica, and now we are in the gift shop. <laughs> so you can buy all kinds of vases and statues and rosaries and t-shirts and all kinds of whatnot. Um, that was amazing. It was, it was incredible. Like that was just, oh my gosh, that was just so cool. Um, I, I, we're going to eat pizza this afternoon, which I'm really excited about. This is my first Italian pizza. Um, and I, I don't know what else the day holds, but I'm not sure anything can quite top what we just experienced. You say that, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're not even 24 hours into this uh, Adventures by Disney, but I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. That's yeah. crazy. All right, pizza time. Pizza time. First authentic Italian pizza. Oh man, that is amazing. Mm. This is good. This is really good. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Via Napoli. You're real close, but dang, that's good. I want more. Bring me more. All right. Pizza was a win. So the bus dropped us back off at the hotel. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but they can pull in the. Uh, the circle in front of the hotel for pickup, but not for drop-off. For drop-off, they drop you way the heck back there by the entrance of the parking garage. You gotta walk up this hill. Anywho, we are going to do a little work in the hotel. More importantly, we're putting our feet up for yeah. a hot minute. We have got the rest of the afternoon and evening off. It is 2 p.m., so we still have kind of an early day tomorrow. We are going to the Coliseum first, but we've got to be uh, we've got to have our bags out of our room at 7 a.m. and then uh, that's when breakfast is too. So we're leaving at 8.15 tomorrow. I think we're gonna work and relax in the room for at least a couple hours and then go back out for um, dinner and to explore more of Rome. So, yes. all right, fun morning. Fun, oh my gosh, today was so spectacular. Like I just, I loved every second of it. It was so good. We went back to the hotel, got a nap. Woo. Like naps. We actually worked for about an hour and a half. We got like a little bit of a nap. It is 5.30 and we have the afternoon and evening off. So we got a recommendation for a wonderful Italian food place for pasta. We it, looked it up. It's got 71,000 reviews that are, and it's like 4.7. Like, you know that's good. Like, holy crap. Apparently, they are so popular they opened up a second spot. So she said, don't worry about it. If you show up and they're like, we're full, go down to this one. It's the same one. So there's two locations. Anyway, we're gonna check that out in a fun little, uh, what's the name of the area? Tra Travestere, Travestere. 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 Anyway, it's, it's apparently a fun little nightlife area. So we're gonna check that out, uh, tootle around. We're walking by the Tiber River uh, for about a mile before we get there and I think Aiden's excited to go. Jennings is less than thrilled because he is tired. He's tired. He's gonna wake up and rally though, right? What? You're gonna wake up and rally? You're gonna rally, right? Woo! 
<laughs> so we ordered um, Aperol Spritz, everybody except for Jennings. Jennings just got water, obviously. But uh, anyway, it, we got ours with the Campari. He said you can make it with lots of different things. I actually almost got the limoncello. Really? If I get another one, I might do it with that because that does sound good. It does sound really good. But it's refreshing. It's a little bitter, but um, but it's refreshing. And then we ordered the hot focaccia that comes with this olive oil good. and rosemary, and it's like on it. Like it's not to like dip. Like it's on top of it. I'm very excited about this. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. We really like that a lot. That. Look at that. It's incredible. So I got the Nana Nadia, which is like a vegetarian, but it's like eggplant and mushroom and tomato and capers. Um, it looks fantastic. Jennings got meatballs and uh, then Dan got the carbonara and Aiden just got like cheese and pasta. Oh, it's hot. Look at the bacon in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. I don't know. Like. That is so good. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna eat every bit of that. It's just cheesy noodles, but I can taste Italy in this dish. I I don't know how else to describe it. This line back here? is all to get in the restaurant that we just went to, which is insane. Uh, it was fantastic and it got great reviews, but we apparently showed up the right time. We walked right up and got right in at 5.30. So definitely it's it's eight right now. Oh my gosh, we spent a long time at the dinner, but uh, it was fantastic and um, worth every penny to be honest with you. It was the best spaghetti carbonara I've ever had in my life. We're gonna tour around make it back to the hotel, and then probably go to bed again relatively uh, soon. Okay, the boys saw this set of stairs and decided Actually, it would be a good idea. The parents saw the stairs. Well, I saw the stairs, but I didn't That's say nice. it was gonna be a good idea to take them. It's not even saving any time because it just like dumps us out where we would have been just continuing but it's so on. Fun. My watch just asked me if I wanted to record an outdoor walk. Yeah, mine did too. No watch. I do not. You've been particularly lazy. Actually, I haven't. Okay, we are going to, since our hotel is around the corner, we're gonna wrap this up here. Uh, tomorrow, we go to the Coliseum. I'm then, so excited about that. <laughs> yeah, Aiden's uh, really looking forward to the Coliseum, which I am too, but he said that was his number one thing for the trip, which I think mine was today, honestly, like, being alone in the Sistine Chapel, that was yeah, really, cool. really cool. <laughs> but Coliseum tomorrow morning, and then we head to Orvieto, Umbria, for lunch, and then we leave there and go to Tuscany, where we will spend the night for two or three nights. I can't remember. Two or three nights, one of the two. Anyway. So if you're liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.